Ring. The following tag team hardcore match. And it's scheduled for. Introducing first, weighing in at 450 pounds. Sabina Baradok, a legend and a monster. The Tandoori Chicken of the Black Rest League. This is the continuation of our Tornado Tag Team Championship Tournament. The Black Rest League, our fifth lit, and I am putting up with no shit. As they meet up with the off stars, Jone Aonaba and Dos Sanchez. Should be very interesting. And I'm looking forward to tonight, ladies and gentlemen, the big main event tonight. Kid Trustworthy versus the next one, Randy Orton, in a one on one matchup to determine the stipulation. If Kid Trustworthy wins, he can pick any stipulation he wants. But now we know that if Randy Orton wins, he picks the tables, ladders, and chairs match. For Supercard 10, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, Supercard 10 will be live on Sunday, November the 11th, the halfway point for the grandest show of them all, Blood, Sweat, and Tears, live on Sunday, December 16th, the new day for that big event. It's going to be awesome, ladies and gentlemen, I'm looking forward to the remaining of the year, 2012. One hell of a year. Last week, ladies and gentlemen, Mankind and Eugene have defeated Paul and Kruger. They've advanced on to the tournament, and next week, three days before Halloween, Mankind and Eugene will meet the winners of this matchup here. Now, I am up. Right now, I'm Dibs. My Dibs go to the upstarts. They've won the tag team titles. They were the dominant in the wrestling scene. They have even insulted, embarrassed a legendary tag team like Lethal Enforcers. Now, this team, this team here, gets to compete against a legendary tag team like the Black Wrestling League, Sabine Navarra and Blacketeer. Should be a very, very interesting tag team competition. Alberto Sanchez looks primed and ready, ladies and gentlemen. And listen to this crowd. The people behind me are on their feet for Joe Namath. And of course, I'm going to go Sanchez, the upstart. A very awesome tag team, like I said, let's go on. They were once the tag champions this year. Let's see how they will advance on. Black Wrestling League, the upstarts, next. The bell sounds, and here we go. Winning team advances on next Sunday night, meeting up with Mankind and Eugene. And there's a bit of a miscommunication. Matter of fact, the last time we saw the Upstarts compete in a tag team match, a lot of miscommunication was going on. I think, I think at one point we saw Alberto Sanchez, who the three amigos, to Joe Nathan, his own partner. And already Black and Tear within 30 seconds of this matchup is busted wide open. Hardcore rules each and every Sunday. Look at this. Look who's full of piss and vinegar. Alberto Sanchez with a bear hug. And look at that. Sabine gets out so quick and so fast. He just knows his stuff. And look at this. Off from the top rope. German suplex from German suplex. What a move. What a sequence of wrestling maneuvers. That was great. Also tonight, ladies and gentlemen, Chris Masters was circling the backstage area. Trying to find some a tag team partner. He ran into B Batista and John 
height and right. And in this broadcast, we're going to have those two guys compete in the match to determine who will be Master's opponent because if you guys didn't tune in to Choose and I Bomb this, this past week, a, a humiliating incident occurred within 18 seconds or so, about 20 seconds or so. The team of Tony Towers and Scott Pilgrim defeated Chris Masters with only one move. A double team turnbuckle maneuver, and that just got everyone on their feet and laughing at the masterpiece Chris Masters. He was a tag team partner. He doesn't have a partner. Randy Orton, obviously, as we all know, ladies and gentlemen, within the last year has betrayed him, turned against him, because Randy Orton wants the one thing that you've always wanted, and that was the World Heavyweight Championship. Now you want to go on pursuit of the Mercy Championship. Go giver. But at this time, Masters has no partner. El Guapo was not much of a tag team partner. All he wanted was to own that tackle stand out. Nothing else to do with Masters. He's got no partners, but these two men, two potential brawlers, like Batista and Hypebright, buff guys, like to fight, have bodybuilding experience. Masterpiece needs somebody like them. Who he can decide which of the two will have the match tonight, ladies and gentlemen. And look at this. Wow. Joe Namath, even though with a special, gets himself dominated by Sabino Baradon. More miscommunicate right there. In these kinds of matches, you could be attacking your partner by mistake, thinking you're gonna grab the other guy. It's true. I've seen it before many, many times in my tenure here in fantasy pro wrestling. Mankind and Eugene have performed a very, a very spectacular matchup last week. We haven't seen Mankind and Eugene wrestle in some time. That they have been qualified. They have entered the tournament. Already they have advanced themselves. Courtesy of Mick, uh, Mrs. Foley's baby boy, Mick Foley. They have advanced on to the next level. Oh, look at that. That was supposed to be the Arabian Slam. Look at that judo takedown by Alberto Sanchez. Sabine looks out. And in the blue as well. Does not look good. And look at that jumping like cutter. Almost like a like, almost like an RKO there. What's going on here? Arabian Slam, no! Standing switch! Sabine's got his stat, is it momentum shift, opportunity? But a Tomo throw to the corner. Nicely done there by Sanchez. Oh no! Oh wow! Picked up the 300 some power just like that! Bypassing the meter! Octopus stretch! On the monster! On the tandoori chicken! The pressure is on! Will Sabine tap out? Blacketeer with no stamina in his tank! Blacketeer down on the ground face first! Joe